So we are looking at an equation that has some algebraic expressions multiplied by each other, which complicates the computation. I think in this type of problem, format is becoming more and more important. Eventually, we should be able to multiply <coughs> x plus 2 and 2x minus 3 sort of in our head. Uh, it's, it's that FOIL thing, first with first, outer, inner, last. Let's just review it really quickly. So when you have a two-piece polynomial called a binomial multiplying another binomial, then we can apply the distributive law by using this thing called FOIL. F stands for the first with the first, so x times 2x, that's 2x squared. O is the two outer terms, that's a negative 3x. And then I is for the inner terms, plus 4x. And L is for the last with the last. And then, <coughs> and then we can combine like terms. So we get 2x squared plus x minus 6. Eventually, we're going to be able to do this in our, in our head mentally, so we, we will not need any writing. And then we would just say, well, we have 2x squared minus 3x plus 4x, that's plus x minus 6. If we still need to write down these computations, it should be margin work, which now I don't have the space in the camera to do it next to it. On the other side, there is another a multiplication, because x plus 1 squared is the same as x plus 1 times x plus 1. So again, we, we apply FOIL. First with first, that's x squared. And then there is a plus x, another plus x. So that's plus 2x, plus 1. This is what we call a complete square. <coughs> and so we have next 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 17. Okay. My recommendation is not to clutter our computation, our main computation, with these FOIL computations. Do that elsewhere in a way that you can, you can review it in case you're looking for an error, but it shouldn't, shouldn't clutter the main computation. So now, this is our equ equation to solve. We are going dis to distribute on the right-hand side. So we are just going to carry the left-hand side for now. And now we're going to combine like terms. Oops, before we do that. So this equation at this point looks like it is quadratic. But if you notice, the quadratic terms will cancel out. So if we subtract 2x squared from both sides, the quadratic piece sim simply disappears. And so this equation becomes linear. And then we also combine like terms here, plus 2 and negative 17, that's minus 15. So we have this cute, small, little linear equation now. We're going to subtract 6. Uh, we're going to subtract x from both sides. Now x is on the right-hand side. Um, we're going to isolate it there at 15. And finally, divide by 3. So x is 3. We should check. So checking means that we think, our hypothesis is that the number that we, we obtained is the only one that will make this equality statement true. So when we substitute this expression into the left-hand side, which I'm going to denote as L, hs for left hand side we're going to get 3 plus 2 which is 5 times 2 times 3 minus 3 is 6 minus 3 that's 3 that's 15 and the right hand side is 2 times 3 plus 1 is 4 4 squared minus 17 that's 2 times 16 minus 17 that's 32 minus 17 which is 15. So when x is 3, both sides are 15, which means that our solution, x equals 3, is correct.